On the foundation front, what are your goals with that? It's to bring more diversity and equity to, to ballet. Um, it's to expose people, expose young people that don't have the, uh, the means to be a part of it, don't have the access, don't, uh, don't have maybe the support or their families or caretakers, whoever, don't have an understanding of this world, but it, that it can be an outlet. It can be a way of developing tools and becoming uh, better citizens in, in their society and society and their communities. It's you know social justice through dance. So we are at uh, Boys and Girls Club uh, in the Bronx, and we are about to walk into um, a Be Bold class, which is a part of my foundation. Uh, it's an after-school ballet class, and. I have not yet met these kids. Hi! Oh my goodness! Oh, you guys are the first group of dancers that I'm meeting that's a part of the Beeble program. How are you guys doing? Good. How cool is it to be able to do to do ballet like to percussion to drums? Yeah, and that's not what you imagine, right? I thought ballet was to like slow. Right, <laughs> and that's that's what's amazing that we want to show you, you know, what you can get from being exposed to ballet and to dance, and it doesn't have to look like you know the stereotype of what we see. And then you can also see dancers that look like you as well being a part of it. I'm so so proud of you guys, and can, can I see a little bit? Are you guys just be do your normal thing? Don't do anything different because I'm here. All right, guys, right, so can watch. we spread out? So, because I just have a tempo, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, one, good. I'm so happy. <laughs> What's been the, the hardest move to learn so far? Relevant. Relevant? What you just did, where you lift the heels. It's hard to like stay there. Any goals in terms of like how good you guys want to get? I want to get to do more stuff and master all the relevant plie and tendu and stuff like that. And Misty, what do you remember from when you were taking boys and girls classes back yeah, in the day? Yeah, because I took my first ballet class at a boys and girls club too when I was 13. Um, I, I remember just feeling like a sense of community that was so important to me, like feeling like we're all in this together. I wouldn't be a professional dancer in New York City with American Ballet Theater. I wouldn't be performing all over the world. I wouldn't have endorsement deals. All of those things, it all started out at my Boys and Girls Club. So I can't wait to see you guys' journey. And what's it like for you uh, teaching? Oh, it's amazing. I, I love teaching. Um, and I think for a lot of them, we talk about how ballet and specifically can translate to every other thing. We talked about how football players play uh, basketball so they become more agile. And so as an instructor, we've been like incorporating other styles of dance to show them how ballet is relatable to hip hop and to jazz and football and basketball and all the things that they also already like to do. So I like to see the light bulbs go off in their head when they realize that, oh, this releve thing that builds their calf muscles will help them with their jump shot in basketball. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's so Thank good you. It's good to meet you, too. <laughs> yep. Can we have a picture with you, please? Yeah. <laughs> smile. Show me your smile. Show me your pearly rights. Yes. There you go. Thank you. I got to get those. <laughs>